more on this story, let's bring in our correspondent, Bruce Harrison, who's standing by now for us in Seoul. Bruce, first of all, the release of this trio of US nationals is being viewed as a goodwill gesture ahead of this historic summit that's been planned between uh, the US President Donald Trump and the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Yes, that's correct, Thomas. Perhaps the last obstacle to the meeting between Kim and Trump now cleared away. Secretary of State Pompeo first raised the issue of these detained men when he visited North Korea about a month ago. Uh, it was unclear how Pyongyang would respond, but now we know that Pompeo has returned home with these men. And as you said, President Trump seemingly excited. He will be there to greet them when they land at Andrews Air Force Base. A bit about these former prisoners of North Korea. They're all Americans of Korean descent. Two of them were working at a university in Pyongyang when they were detained. The third, a man who's been there the longest, had been there rather, uh, since 2015. He was accused of spying on the North Korean state and unidentified hostile acts and sentenced to 10 years of hard labor. Secretary of State Pompeo wasn't there just for the release. He was there to firm up an agenda for the upcoming Kim Trump summit. We've heard through North Korean state media and the U.S. State Department that there was very positive exchanges between the two sides. But we only know, by and large, the main focus of the U.S., and that's the denuclearization of North Korea. Now, Bruce, uh, South Koreans, of course, have their own uh, prisoners being held on North Korean soil. Uh, as peace efforts continue between uh, the two Koreas, how is uh, Seoul viewing the fact that the, the regime in Pyongyang has released these U.S. nationals? Thomas, the South Korean government welcomed this decision uh, through the president's office here. Uh, they said it was a very positive sign ahead of the Kim and Trump summit, and also their special significance because the men who were released are of Korean descent. Uh, South Korea's presidential office also reminded that Moon asked for the repatriation of South Koreans to Tate in North Korea when he met with Kim Jong-un last month. And the presidential office said it hopes that after what happened between the Americans and the North Koreans, these South Koreans can be repatriated. It seems there's a very positive atmosphere towards the thaw and diplomacy on the Korean Peninsula right now. One great example is from a movie set called JSA, Joint Security Area. It's an old movie in South Korea. South Koreans are visiting that now and recreating the handshake between Kim Jong-un and President Moon Jae-in when they held their summit at the DMZ last month. So smiles at the real DMZ, smiles at the fake DMZ here in Seoul as well. Bruce Harrison there in Seoul. Thank you very much for that update.